Okay, Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw. What do I have to say about this show? What are we, four weeks away from WrestleMania and Fastlane is this Sunday, so technically this is a go-home show. And what do they really have leading in the next four weeks since it feels like Raw, in a way, throws a lot of stuff together, maybe at the last minute. But, hey, there's still some things to say about this show, okay? So what do we have for Monday Night Raw tonight as basically they kicked off the show immediately at WrestleMania, it will be Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. I think we all saw that coming, but obviously they wanted to tell you this right now for a reason. Uh, basically, right now, Bobby Lashley and MVP came out. Uh, MVP said that we are living in the almighty era, that Lashley has proven all the haters and naysayers wrong, that it's taken 16 years to get to where he is right now to be the WWE Champion. Lashley said he destroyed Drew McIntyre at Elimination Chamber, and he will do the same thing again at WrestleMania, and say he would do the same to everyone on Raw, um, anybody that wants to step up to the almighty era, Ms. Morrison came out, Morrison dresses, looks like he, um, he looks like he's Ace Ventura for some reason right now, um, Ms. basically said you need to put, you know, um, he should be preparing for his match against uh, Drew McIntyre, but he had to come out and, you know, praise Lashley's suit and whatnot, and listen, you know, they felt like the rivalry was getting started. Miz basically, um, and Morrison talk about all the feuds and, you know, legendary feuds they've had at, uh, you know, a whole bunch of WrestleMania matches from Hogan and Andre to Stone Cold and the Rock, which they started to do a Stone Cold Steve Austin, imp Stone Cold Steve Austin impression. Obviously, one, they got to promote Austin all night because, one, <clears throat> Didn't know they were celebrating 25 years of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Man, it's been that long. And tomorrow is Austin 316 Day, or just 316 Day in general. I'll say a little bit more about that in a second, because trust me, I remember what happened last year on 316 Day, and that was uh, that was a weird one, but made the best of it, though. I'll get to that, uh, but <clears throat> basically, you know, they tried to do the whole hell yeah thing, and uh, Miz said... You know, he had to defend the WWE title twice in one night, you know, battling cramps and whatnot. But Drew, it came out. He basically told Lashley and MVP in the ring that he's coming from at WrestleMania. But he wanted to congratulate them. Yeah, it took you 16 years to get to that title. It took me 17 years, okay? And, uh, you know, basically, um, we've outworked a lot of others. And uh, Drew said, I beat Brock for the title in five minutes. And that, you know, last year you made a deal to get that title. But uh, MVP says, why are you even questioning? Why are you out here and everything? And last year said that McIntyre, you know, you should be worried about me and whatnot. And me, Miz said, because I guess it's going to be a match between um, Miz and Drew. How many times have I seen that on TV? Uh, McIntyre said, oh, yeah, I forgot you were uh, standing right there, Miz. Uh, yeah, I could turn my back and you can attack me and everything. But, you know, you're going to start running soon enough. And Drew said, you know, I've gone to war. I'm going to war with Sheamus again at Fastlane for the third time after they went to war last week. And basically called Lash a big, bald bitch and whatnot. And that he's going to take the title back. And MVP basically told him to chill out. We're going to go right now. Lashley ended up attacking McIntyre from behind. Lashley left. Basically a brawl breaking out until Sheamus ended up attacking uh, Bobby Lashley leaving him on the ground, and which basically is gonna, wow, which basically is gonna lead to a match with Sheamus and Lashley later on tonight. Uh, like I said before, I'm almost surprised they just didn't do a number one contender with Sheamus and Drew at Fastlane as he would face Lashley for the title. But given that we've seen the match happen two times already, we all knew Drew was gonna be going against Lashley at Mania in general. I still need Lashley to go over though, but um. Like I said, the the main event is already well. One of the main events is already set for WrestleMania since WrestleMania is a two night thing, anyways. Uh, so I don't know. We just know that main event. Uh, Drew went against Miz. It's really not much I could say from here. Drew beat Miz. He hit him with the future shot DDT. He hit him with a Claymore kick, but he didn't go for the pin. He looked up at the WrestleMania sign and then he put the hurt lock in. You know, using Lashley's submission and whatnot. On Miz, taking him down. It's Miz. They beat the crap out of Miz. So, uh, boom. There you go. It's Drew versus Miz. How many times have we seen that before? This part now of this show, which we now... I don't even know where this is going. Braun Strowman 
was in the ring calling out Shane McMahon. Shane came out. He wasn't heavily breathing this time. And uh, basically, why are you mad at me? Strowman said he's been bullied guys like by Sheamus his whole life, which, you know, called me stupid, your little Ivy League schools and whatnot. But Shane said, you know, I would never make fun of another human being. But Strowman says, I know you McMahons don't apologize for anything. And Strowman, you know, said, Shane, you want to stumble your words and you're afraid to say what jazz can't cash. And basically, um, I want to match against you, but you don't have the balls to, uh, you know, say to take this match. And Strowman um, said can make it easy for Shane tonight or um, easy tonight. But Shane said, you know, uh, I couldn't I think I couldn't handle you. You can't handle me. I can take you out because you are stupid. OK, you're stupid. Yeah, I tell you what, man, no stupid right there, man. Stupid, man. Stupid, 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 stupid. Man, he's stupid. He's stupid, man. You know, the, the, the Strowman there is uh, real stupid. You know, you're dumber than a box of rocks. Stupid, 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 stupid. He's real stupid, man. Uh, whatever type of accent. Wh where is this going? <laughs> where is this feud going? I, I don't know, but where is this feud going? I, I gotta say, uh, you know, you, you stupid. Stupid. I know you're stupid. But the match is on. It's going to be Brains versus Braun is, uh, Shane put it. So, uh, yeah. Who's the real stupid one here? The segment's stupid. But we got more stupidity coming on later. Um, Man Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, uh, Naomi, and Lana were in the back. Our truth came in. Basically, um, you know, promoting a whole bunch of Austin 316 day stuff. From the vest to the beer. Give me a hell, yeah. What? 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 Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't even bring Stone Cold on tonight. But then again, 316 day is tomorrow. So, uh, like I said, we're not going to bring him on like last year when it's still no crowd. But, um, wow, they, they tried to make the best uh, out of a bad situation that time. I played along at home during that point. But uh, he still should have stunned Becky at the end of the day last year. Really should have should have done that. Really should have done that. But, <laughs> hey. Uh, what, Saxon got stunned? It was like a lot of beer that night. So, um, promotion, I guess. Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke went against Naomi and Lana. I don't really care. Shayna Baszler and them was on commentary. Asuka came back since, you know, she got kicked in the mouth by Baszler. Her and Baszler brawled. And Dana Brooke ended up getting the win and on Lana. So, I have really nothing to say about that. I, I don't. It was a match and it happened. Uh, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Woods, and Kingston were in the back end ready for the title match. Uh, Matt Riddle shows up with a scooter to wish them luck, luck and everything. So, you know, we should get, you know, pancakes and matching tattoos. But Cope's out. I don't know if that's a good idea and whatnot. Which then we got the title match, Hurt Business, Cedric and Sheldon Benjamin versus Kofi and Woods. Good match, but I hate the decision. I like this match. But do the New Day need to become tag team champions 11 times? And then next thing you know, AJ Styles comes out with his uh, bodyguard Amo saying, oh, you guys are the new tag team champions, huh? So now we want to match at WrestleMania, okay? Since he doesn't have anything uh, planned and whatnot, he wants those tag titles. And, um, you know, Kingston basically said, uh, all right, y'all tag team, let's do this thing. Which, this makes no sense. Okay, I wouldn't have taken the belts off the Hurt Business, especially that fast. It makes no sense to put it back on New Day. Number two, obviously they have no plan for AJ Styles right now. So let's put them in a random tag title match against um, the New Day. Is this just to get the belts off the New Day at Mania so AJ and his bodyguard come in? Which we don't even know if he can even wrestle yet either. We have not yet to see him wrestle. And I guess he's going to be making his big debut right here. But this is a very strange and odd decision. I don't know why they didn't do this at Fastlane. I don't know why they need to do this at WrestleMania, of all things, but it's crazy that they have no plan for AJ, which is almost crazy, too. This guy was the main event against Wrestle main event in WrestleMania last year against The Undertaker, and now he's in this random tag title match all of a sudden. So, yeah, it's crazy how this guy was last year. He main event at WrestleMania last year against The Undertaker. Think about that. Think about that. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest were in the back talking to Miz and Morrison. 
Um, Damon Priest basically talked about Miz losing the WWE title. And Miz, you know, said, Bunny wishes you could uh, have a fraction of my success based off one title, WWE title, the money in the bank, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But Priest said, uh, let's see if you could, uh, you know, accumulate those accomplishments. And uh, basically in his face saying, you know, maybe you should start now. Miz backed off. Our truth came in. You know, still having a whole bunch of Stone Cold gear. Um, basically told, uh, you know, Bad Bunny, hey, you could have this uh, Stone Cold Smoker title. And uh, Bad Bunny basically, you know, I respect this title and everything. And I guess him and Priest made a deal. So he took all the Stone Cold gear and traded Truth for the belt. And then the usual suspects chased Truth after the belt. I don't know why they just going to have Bad Bunny take a roll-up pin right here. Don't know why. Um, but... Hey, he's now holding the 24-7 title. I'm sure he had on the Grammys last night. I don't know. I didn't watch the Grammys. So, uh, maybe he did. Maybe he, did, he didn't. Uh, Damian Priest went against Gunner. This match lasted like 30 seconds. Um, Elias tried to attack uh, Priest right after the match. But, yeah, after Priest won, um, what? Sa I'm about to say Sandow. Uh, Elias got mad. Basically, he's about to attack Bad Bunny, but Bad Bunny got out the way. Punched Elias, and then uh, Priest took him down with the Reckoning. Uh, but then next thing you know, Miz came from behind, and he hit Bad Bunny in the back with a guitar, which the camera missed that. I'm surprised he didn't take a, ch a guitar shot to the head, Jeff Jarrett style. But um, no, he took a guitar shot to the uh, back, which um, I don't think the guitar even really broke right there. So obviously, you know, that's going to lead into uh, WrestleMania. Um, oh, this segment. This segment right here. Shane McMahon came out and was ready to wrestle against Braun Strowman. Shane went out the ring. He went to warm up. He went to play some hopscotch. <laughs> he played hopscotch. Um, he said you know, he was helped Strowman learn how to count. Strowman chased him. And um, Strowman started throwing Shane to the barricade. Strowman was about to do his big lap around the ring. But Shane took a camera from the cameraman and hit Strowman with it. He hit him with several times. Of course, he's got to get to the top rope. And you know Shane's got to do his big elbow drop, folks. He did his big elbow drop off the table, and then he poured slime uh, all over all over uh, Strowman's head, calling him stupid. You're very stupid. So uh, apparently this is Slime Time Live, where they watched the Kid Choice Awards the other night. And all I can think to myself, and don't get me wrong, they've done this before with DX, and uh, Strowman had something to do with Slime not that long ago. But all I can think was, Nick, 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 Nick. Nickelodeon. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's basically what this feud and now this match will happen again this Sunday. So, hey, at least this match isn't at WrestleMania, folks. But um, I have no idea where this is going. But I find Shane hilarious making fun of Sh uh, Strowman for some reason. Don't know why. I just find it very, very, very funny. <laughs> He's just stupid. Yo, 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 my stupid, my stupid, stupid, stupid Strowman. Stupid. You're a stupid man. Stupid. <laughs> Not smart, man. Keep, can't keep up with me. So, slime time live, folks. Slime time live. Um, Alexa Bliss is calling out Orton, saying you want me out of your life, so I'm going to give you a chance at fast lane. I can already tell you how... Alexa, stop. Don't know what's going on with that. Um, but next thing you know, Asuka came back. Uh, well, it came out for a match against Shayna Baszler, which didn't really go anywhere. Uh... Oscar won with like a roll up, uh, basically dodging the carefully cl clutch, but uh, Baszler held on to it. Oscar got out of it, basically blocked Baszler from kicking her in the face. Oscar started beating the crap out of um, Baszler, then taking out the um, termical pad and her mouth guard. Was about to smash her head into it, but the referee ended up stopping her as Oscar was pissed off then. So um, I'm glad they made Oscar look very powerful here and, you know, beating the crap out of Baszler, kind of getting some payback and everything, but, um, <clears throat> payback and whatnot, but, um, yes, at least Oscar actually like a killer out here and getting payback saying, you want to kick my teeth out? I'm going to take a lot of your teeth away, basically, out of your mouth. So, uh, I did like they, you know, took out the mouth guard and that, so that was pretty good. Um... But after Asuka's segment, uh, Mustafa Ali uh, basically was getting ready for his match against Matt Riddle for the U.S. title. Um, match was okay, I'll give it that, but it ended up with, um, what was it, one of the uh, Retribution guys, uh, T-Bar, tried to distract the referee while Mustafa had the pin, which Riddle ended up reversing that win and hit the uh, bro Derek for the win. 
So, um, yeah, Riddle still retained the title, so he's, there you go. Orton was in the back talking about Alexa Bliss saying, I'm going to kick you out of my life. That's what I'm going to do. I can tell you how this segment is already going to go, okay? It's going to be Orton. It's going to be Bliss. Bliss say you want to kick me out your life. Orton's going to try to kick her in the head. Lights go out or however the thing goes. Fiend shows up. There you go. You have your WrestleMania match between Orton and Fiend. I'm ready for this crazy feud to end. I'm I'm just done with it. I know they were talking about ticket sales or like trying to do a WrestleMania, which they were supposed to give out that information, but apparently there's a delay in that. Don't know what's going on, so they have to push that back now. I don't know if they have this stuff together for WrestleMania when it comes to tickets. I don't know how many people they're letting into WrestleMania. I don't I honestly don't know. It's a big full stadium, but um they've had to push the tickets back now, so I don't know how big of a problem it is with that. So we'll see how many people they let in the WrestleMania, <laughs> you know, I, I, I could go into what, UFC, let a full capacity crowd, you know what, it's best I don't say nothing, I've already expressed my thoughts when it comes to this virus and, you know, fans and everything, all I'm gonna say is this, we'll wait and see, let's just wait and see what happens, good luck, uh, but, uh, next, Oh, well, what what was next um, on this show? Drew McIntyre came out and cut a promo before the main event, talking about Sheamus and the match of Fastlane coming up. But then after that, he's coming for Lashley at WrestleMania. But he's going to sit ringside for this because we didn't get Bobby Lashley and Sheamus in a great match. Very hard hitting. Got to give Sheamus some credit out here. Sheamus has been putting on some barn burner matches between the matches with Drew and Lashley tonight. This was great. These guys are beating the crap out of each other. Uh, Sheamus was going to go for a bro kick, but uh, Lashley speared him in midair. Sheamus put, uh, not Sheamus, but um, Lashley put Sheamus in the hurt lock right after then. Uh, McIntyre slowly got in the ring and looked at him. Uh, basically, um, MVP ended up accidentally, what, knocked into Sheamus and whatnot, and Lashley got distracted. McIntyre ended up hitting a Claymore kick on Lashley, caught him, you bald bitch, and then, you know, looked at Sheamus, and, uh, you know, they're never going to forget, basically, and, um, Getting ready for their match this Sunday. So, like I said, great match between um, Lashley and Sheamus. Really liked it. Looking forward to the match again with uh, Drew and Sheamus for the third time this Sunday. We'll see where that goes. I do feel like a lot of these matches are somewhat made up together when it comes to whatever they got going for Fastlane for Raw. Like I said, unless you don't get Strowman and Shane at WrestleMania, but I have no idea why they're doing Slime Time Live on Monday Night Raw. Uh, like I said, I like the main event. That was good. I had no problem with that. Um, I don't like that, you know, they took the belts off the Hurt Business, though, the tag team titles, just to give AJ Styles a match at WrestleMania with his bodyguard for his debut, which literally makes no sense. Like I said before, they had nothing for AJ, so we're just going to throw AJ into something. Oscar's back, but um, we'll see where it goes. Of course, they had another Rhea Ripley promo. Um, wow, what, what else? Um, it's mostly what I could say about Raw tonight. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it for Monday Night Raw uh, after this show, or however you want to call it, but yeah, that's Monday Night Raw for you, okay? Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens in the fast lane this Sunday, but that's all I can really take from this show tonight with whatever they got had going on with here. But other than that, uh, yeah, I am done. Uh, just want to say, hey, happy 316 day, everybody, whenever you're watching this video or whenever it goes up. I know it's the 15th right now, but since it's not going to be the 16th, you know, it's our Raw review. Hey, give me a hell yeah if you're down with this review. If you like this review, give me a hell yeah. So, yeah, I'm done. We'll be back for a review of Impact tomorrow. So, hey, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> Wow, and this dog wants to bark while I'm doing a review. You ever have a... So you got this dog barking while I'm doing a review. You don't bark during my reviews, all right? So, yeah. And that's the bottom line. Crystal Code said... Yeah, I'm not even going to do an impression, but... Hey, I like have fun doing it anyways. I like 316 Day, all right? So, yeah. I'm done. I'm out of here. Com subscribe. At Hooded Night 890. See you guys later. Peace out.